Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, whereby we are going to learn and experience together. Today we are going to have our biology form 2, lesson 18, whereby your tutor will be me, Mr. Gerard. We are going to tackle the topic on gaseous exchange under the subtopic structure and function of the stomata. But before that, we are going to have the following lesson goal, whereby by the end of the lesson, you should be able to draw and label the structure of the stomata. So I, um, I hope you'll be very keen as I shall be explaining the, um, the stomata. So, so now we go to the structure and the function of the stomata, but we can have a diagrammatic representation of the same so that uh, you might understand what um, I'm explaining. Uh, the stomata are tiny openings on the surface of the leaf bordered by uh, bean shaped guard cells. The guard cells are the only cells of the leaf epidermis that, are, that have chloroplast. The outer side of the guard cells is attached to the walls of the adjacent epidermal cells. Stomata occur mainly on the lower surface uh, on the lower side of the leaf but less frequently on the upper side of the leaf surface that receives directly uh, direct sunlight. Stomata open mostly at daytime but close at night. However, their distribution on the leaf surface is related to the habitat. The stomata allow gaseous exchange to take place in plants. Guard cells also control the opening and the closing of the stomata. Can I hope you can see uh, the guard cells from our diagrammatic representation uh, because in our diagram we have the we have the guard cell, we have the stomatopore. We have the subsidiary cell and we have the epidermal cell. I'm just explaining uh, whatever you are seeing from the diagram. The guard cells exist in pairs, as you can see they are two, and are structurally adapted to their function by having chloroplasts for photosynthesis. These guard cells, uh, they have got uh, chloroplasts. Remember that the function of the chloroplast is to trap light energy which is responsible for photosynthesis. The inner walls of the guard cells um, are thick and less elastic than the outer walls, which are thin and elastic. This causes the outer walls to stretch more than the inner walls. When adjacent guard cells become turgid, uh, the stoma opens. Now we are going to look at um, the mechanism of opening and closing of stomata because we are saying that um, we have said that uh, when um, the adjacent guard cells become turgid, the stoma opening. So we have it's important that we look at the uh, the mechanism through which the stomata opens and closes. Uh, there are a number of theories that explain the opening and closing of stomata. Uh, one of such theory is known as the photosynthetic theory, based on sugar formation by the chloroplast in the guard cells to bring about cell tagger. During daytime, the chloroplast of um, during daytime, the chloroplast of guard cells produce sugar through the process of photosynthesis. This sugar accumulates in the gall cells, causing the osmotic pressure of the subvacuoles of the cells to increase. This leads to drawing of water from the neighboring epidermal cells by osmosis. The gall cells thus become turgid and bulge outwards, making the stomata to open. At night, however, sugar is converted to starch and accumulates in the gall cells. The uh, osmotic pressure of the gall cells then falls as the cell loses turgidity due to the water loss to the adjacent epidermal cells. This condition results in the guard cells becoming plasmalized, leading to closure of the stoma. The above theory has been found unsatisfactory as there are some plants whose stomata open at night and close at daytime. That is the, the photosynthetic theory. So now uh, they, de the, the, we develop, uh, they develop another theory which is known there known as the starch sugar interconversion theory. So we, uh, we, we say another possible explanation of the stomato closing and opening is in the conversion of sugar to starch and vice versa in the guard cells. The starch sugar interconversion theory is under the influence of pH through enzyme action. For example, during the day, photosynthesis takes place in the guard cells using carbon dioxide. The pH in the guard cells tends to rise as the conditions become less acidic as carbon dioxide is continuously used up. The increasing uh, pH favors the conversion of um, starch into glucose. Remember we here we are explaining the starch sugar interconversion theory. 
The glucose being osmotically active brings, the, uh, brings about the osmotic effect that results in water being drawn into the gut cells. Consequently, the gut cells become turgid and bulge outwards, making the stoma to open. At night, carbon dioxide is early used up as photosynthesis does not take place. Carbon dioxide therefore accumulates in the gut cells, resulting in the lowering of pH. This favors the conversion of glucose into starch. Starch is osmotically inactive, and therefore the gut cells do not gain water. Due to the resulting plasmolyzed state of the gut cell, the stomata is uh, therefore closes. The closure may not be complete, and some gaseous exchange may still take place at night. Uh, so that is the starch interconversion theory. Uh, we have got several theories, uh, whereby uh, we can have another theory, which is known as potassium ion theory. Uh, that one I uh, will uh, refer you to a book which will be able to get it from. But in our lesson, I wanted us we get, uh, to get to the photosynthetic theory and the starch in the conversion theory. Uh, having done and said that, uh, we can um, have the following activity whereby you, acquire, uh, you are required to explain the photosynthetic theory, um, hoping that you followed the lesson. Um, you can refer to KLB 2017, Secondary Biology Student Book 1, which is the fourth edition Nairobi, Kenya Literature Bureau, to get um, other theories which explain the photosynthetic theory. And also to get uh, this um, lesson and many more of our biology lessons, you can send us an SMS through the number that is appearing on our screen, or you subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Elimu TV, or our Facebook page, which is also Elimu TV, or you tweet us on uh, at Elimu TV uh, underscore Kenya. Thank you for watching and let us subscribe to learn more. Welcome.